Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am here with a very, very special love reading for you guys today. And the topic is gonna be, what does your crush want to say to you? Now I've been waiting a long time to do this reading because I was waiting for um, to get some certain cards and I finally got them. So I'm gonna introduce to you guys the power of love. And I'll show you some of the cards. They just have cute little like love messages. And I'm so excited to use these. Oh my gosh. Um, and yeah, anyways, um, so I'm going to be using the, the Green Witch Tarot. I'm also going to be using mes uh, Messenger Oracle. And I'm going to be using my brand new uh, Power of Love. So <sighs> let me introduce you to the stones. So first in pile one, we have the Clear Quartz. Pile two, we have the Amazonite. And this is a brand new stone for me too. I just got this one. And for pile three, we have the Citrine. All right, so I want you guys to go ahead and take a nice deep breath. Um, whichever pile or number or stone you're most drawn to, I want you to pick that pile or stone and I will have timestamps in the comments as well as the description of the video so you don't have to watch through all the other readings. Alright, so let's get to it. Boop. All right, group one, if you picked the clear quartz, this message is to for you. <laughs> to you from your crush. Uh, what does your crush want to say to you? Alright, so the first card we have is the two of asthmus which is like the two of swords and this one means like negotiation um sometimes like compromise um and like balance of opposites and then we have the crone which is probably one of my favorite cards because it has a lion on it and i'm a leo so you know <laughs> anyways it means like inner strength um self-confidence and courage overcoming obstacles and then for your final tarot card, we got the world tree. Now this one means like, it's like a transition card. Like you see it going from summer to winter over here um, and then fall in the corner. Spring is probably somewhere in there too. Um, it's also like the meaning of time for something new, the end of, you know, some old matter. Um, also like good conclusions as well. And then for your Oracle card, for the Messenger Oracle, we have Challenge Your Perception. And then for your two love cards, we have Individuality. Um, you have, or you leave your unique stamp of love on everything you do and ownership. You acknowledge your misdeeds and accomplishments alike and learn to love them all as lessons all right so what is your crush wanting to say to you okay so i'm feeling like maybe maybe they are wanting you to take a look at things a little bit deeper um they want you to have a little bit more courage and take ownership of your feelings um because i feel like it could express something new like the beginning of something new um there's like a balance of opposites right now so maybe like it could be possibly you guys are two you know different signs that don't normally end up dating or something um or you're not usually their type but i feel like what they're wanting to say to you is something along the lines of having courage. Don't be afraid of these opposites. Um, and I feel like then, yeah, like 
don't be afraid have courage accept yourself accept your individuality because you are unique and this person sees that and take ownership of it like you there's something really special about you that they see and I feel like once you you do see that and accept that um, I feel like there will be possibly a transition between you two but yeah, definitely challenge your perception. Like, you need to look deeper within yourself. You need to try to see them, try to see yourself how they might see you. But do it in a more positive way. I feel like they want you to know that you... You have no need to not be confident around them. Because it doesn't matter if you you don't dress, you know, as fancy as they do. Or you, you don't like the same music as they do. They like that balance of opposites. Um, they really do like that. They really do... A, admire them they admire your individuality and they want you to own that individuality that you have i'm focusing more on like the words than like what they're saying underneath um but you know what they do say underneath they could possibly mean something to you so that's that's great if it does um Anything else here? They could possibly be a Leo, or you could possibly be a Leo. We have two birds here. That makes me think of like new messages coming forth. Um, so definitely, your person wants you to know and to have a little bit more confidence and accept yourself. You know say hi to them <laughs> don't be afraid because I, I feel like that they like that you're not like the other people yeah that's what I'm feeling and we have the sun shining through this tree and I think like individual lights shining through the tree so like it's not just one light all together you're it's, it's like these this ray these rays on this individuality card you're you're, you're not like everybody else, and they see that, and they want you to see that too, and they want you to love and accept that about yourself. That's what I'm getting. All right, let's uh, move into the letters, see if we pull out any letters or initials or words that possibly might mean anything to you or them. We have a P, we have an R, we have an N, we have, oh my gosh, we have three A's. Whoever this person is, you got a lot of A's. A, 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 A. <laughs> we have eight. We have V. We have G. We have M. We have R. Let's see. We have, we have Ram. So they could possibly, there could be an Aries here. Um, we have Rap <laughs> or Par. Pam, maybe their name is Pamula. P Pamula, Pamula, my gosh. <laughs> um, We have Nag, <laughs> Nap, and I mean there could be some initials that mean something to you. You know, it could be the 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 eighth of January is their birthday or something like that. Or you guys met on the eighth, and it is a significant number for you guys. Um, and we have eight again with the crone because she's the the eighth one, eighth. Um, major arcana in this set, so, yeah. 
pay attention to eights because I feel like that might be a pattern. Anyways, I hope that this made sense to at least one of you, maybe some of you, maybe all of you. And if it doesn't make sense to you, then, you know, <laughs> at least it'll make sense to somebody, I hope. Um, and you're more than welcome to pick another pile, too, as well. Um, and sometimes, you know, with these readings, it's not like right away that this this happens. This could be like a future crush as well. I've had that happen with so many readings that I've watched before. And I'm like wait a minute this is exactly happening just like a reading i just saw and i try to find the video and i'm like oh my gosh <laughs> yeah no use but anyways um i hope you guys enjoyed this reading um if you want to follow me on instagram green veg Terra with two v's and i hope you guys have a beautiful wonderful day night morning whenever okay love y'all bye all right group two if you chose the amazing night this message is for you. All right, so what does your crush want to say to you? First card we have is the Holly King. Now the Holly King is like new ventures and like new fast traveled. So let's see how that relates. Oh my gosh, and we have the Ten of Chalices. The Ten of Chalices. Obviously you have a lovely little couple here under the tree watching their daughter. It's like love, joy, security, and like emotional commitment and family. And, mm. Okay, let's see. Oh, and then we have the King of Pentacles. Now this one's like a very trustworthy venture. Um, you're able to meet challenges. Um, it's also like a very financial uh, card as well. Be financially well off. or uh, But I'm getting more of like a emotionally well off it's also like generous and very like steadfast <laughs> i'm excited all right and then for your oracle message card we have seek your answers within seek within your heart <laughs> and then for your two love cards we have trust you have a strong connection to your soul's loving voice and have faith in your intuition. And we have cooperation. In your quest to manifest the energy of love, you realize that every person and experience has value. <sighs> okay, so what is your crush wanting to say to you? So far, I see that they want to commit to you. Like, they see... They see you guys being together a long time, having a family. They want to start this new venture with you. Like, they, they are excited. They really, <laughs> that's what I'm getting. And like, the, this person really, really likes you. Um, and maybe, maybe you know that. <laughs> and then we have the seek your answers within, with the the heart, with the eye. So. You know, look into your heart and think, you know, how do you feel about this person? Because I feel like they really, really like you, but they want you to listen to your heart and figure it out for yourself. And they want you to trust them, definitely. Um, I feel like you guys, uh, if you don't already have a strong connection, you guys will have a strong connection. And then cooperation. Um, this one, um, I'm getting more of like, you guys need to be open with each other. You need to talk more about how you're feeling. Because um, I feel like there's so much value to this relationship and it could be like a lifelong one. Um, so like, I feel like what your crush is wanting to say to you is to listen to your heart, look within, Try to see how they see it and trust them. You guys, they want you to talk to them. They definitely, definitely want you to talk to them and talk about this, this, um, this dynamic, this relationship that you guys have because they see it as being a lifelong one. Like, there is no question in that at all. I feel like they are already fully committed to you. Is there 
anything else. Gosh, yeah, this one is just like the love is right there. Like this, it's so smack dab in your face. Like whoever your crush is, they are head over heels for you. But you definitely do need to talk about things. Um, and if you're not sure about this relationship, this is where you find the answers. You gotta seek within. You gotta listen to your heart. Don't listen to your head about this. Listen to your heart about this. Um, how you feel about them. Because it's your heart that's going to see how you feel. See the answer. But if you have a crush on them, then <laughs> there you go. Um, but definitely, you know, have, a, have trust in them. Talk to them. Cooperate. Maybe make plans together. Yeah, this is such a strong little love reading, and it, you know, if you guys figure it out, it's gonna be a beautiful love story. So beautiful. All right, let's go into the letters, see if we pull out name, number, or even initials or something. We have T Z A -F N E N. Two N's. Oh my gosh, three E's. Oh my gosh. Three E's and a D. Hmm. You know, right off the bat, I'm wondering if y'all, if one of you guys watching is a teen. If you are. <laughs> you know, definitely take your time. <laughs> but, um, you know, teen romances, they can last. I know a couple of people who are still together from high school. Um, we also have Den. We have Ten. Could be like you've known each other for 10 years and you're finally like talking about it. Um, we have Zen. So definitely get into that place of Zen when you are looking for the answers within. Like you gotta get into a deep, deep meditative state. Like if it takes you going out into nature and just sitting by a river and listening to it. Um, while you sit there with no distractions or even just, you know, listening to your favorite song over and over again, you got to get into that deep sin state to figure out what your heart wants. We also have dent. Now dent... There could be, you could be hurt from a previous relationship. Um, you know, with the trust card, your trust may be dented a little bit. So, but I feel like they don't want to dent you. They want you to trust them. Because this, this is all coming from them. All right, well, yeah, we have need. They got everything you need in your life. <laughs> um, I'm not really seeing any other words or letters. You may see some initials. Um, but, you know, as long as this makes sense to you, um, then that's all that matters. So how you interpret it, not me. I'm just telling you what they mean and <laughs> what, I do, what I do see. Um... You can always follow me on my Instagram, Green Bitch Tarot with two Vs. And I hope you guys have a beautiful, wonderful night, day, morning, whenever. Okay, love you all. Bye. All right. My final group with the citrine. If you chose a stone, this message is to you from your crush. So what does your crush want to say to you? All right. So I actually have four tarot cards pop out. So... First one we have is the Five of Wands. Now the Five of Wands, um, I see this more as like um, 
competition, kind of. You have all these boys, like, trying to do this spell. Um, it also means, like, a need for teamwork. Like, maybe they all need to work together to get this, this spell to work. And then we do have the ant, which, you know, ants, they usually work in a team. So I definitely see teamwork. Um, possibly obstacles to, like, overcome. You need to cooperate in some way or form. And then we have nature. And nature means, like, acceptance. Um, freedom. A release. Um, but it also means, like, potential obstructions. Like, this bear trap. There's a bear and then there's this trap. Like, the guy doesn't even notice the bear behind them. So, he doesn't know this looming danger behind them. Um, but it, it is also... Also, like, you know, freedom and acceptance. Let's see what else we have with the tarot. We have the standing stone. The standing stone, um, it's like balance. Um, trust your own decisions. It's truth. Um, objectivity. You see the light shining down onto it. it Could be some sun energy. Possibly Libra. Let's see. And then your final tarot card that you have is the Green Man. Now the Green Man means like a fresh start and like new beginnings. Um, there's a lot of potential with this card. And he's definitely fearless. Like he's dressed up as a Green Man. He's just marching around with a stick. And he is fearless. Alright, let's go to your oracle cards. We have Seek the Lesson. From the messenger ones and then from your light cards we have discernment you are developing the skill to dis distinguish love from fear and truth from illusion and we have friendliness you are able to recognize traits in common with another in order to forge love-based connections <sighs> okay so what are we what are we dealing with here? I feel like I think you gotta work together. Trust. I feel like they're kind of a free spirit and they want you to trust them. Just right off the bat, that's what I'm feeling. But I feel like there's something that you guys can learn from here with these two cards. There's a lesson you guys can learn together. Or like he wants to teach you or she wants to teach you something. You know, I'm like not just because of this friendly in this card, I'm getting like Maybe they want to teach you that, that you guys are great friends, like discerning, discerning, or what is it? Yeah, discernment. You are developing the skill to distinguish love from fear and truth from illusion. So I'm wondering, there's a lesson they want you to learn. What are they wanting to say to you though? That's, cause we're not, <laughs> we're not trying to figure out what the lesson is. Um, I feel like, okay, yeah. I feel like they want to be friends first. They want to overcome the obstacle um, of being friends first. Like, you, you may see it as an obstacle, being friends first, but I feel like they want to learn more about you by being your friend. Mm. 
yeah. Because I feel like they, they want to start something new with you. And maybe, you know, instead of jumping in, because I feel like maybe possibly they jumped into relationships a lot before and you're kind of like, okay, well, you're single and I'm single too, so let's do this. But I feel like they want to try a different approach with you and start with the friends thing at first. Yeah. And possibly you jump into relationships too fast. But I feel like more than anything... I think you guys both need to be friends at first. Like maybe they just got out of a relationship too. Because this card, you know, also represents like freedom, being free. You see, have the little guys dancing around in the background. They're like freely dancing. Um, so maybe they're not really ready for a relationship yet. But they, this, this card, you know, trusting your own decisions. So discernment, you know. And that goes like hand in hand and seeking the lesson. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I know this is a love reading. I know usually you know, like hearing friend, being a friend first kind of sucks, but I feel like I, d I definitely feel strong about this because friendship, if you have a friendship first, then that can build into a stronger relationship. That doesn't mean you're always going to just remain friends. I feel like they have some healing they need to do first or either you do. Um, there are lessons to be learned from po possibly past relationships or possibly together. Um, because I, I, <laughs> I kind of feel like this bear is like their ex or your ex and they're kind of like watching on that you like setting this bear trap kind of in a way and <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know where I was going with that, but I, that just came to my head. Um... Oh, you know what else I like about this card? There is a lab. Oh my gosh, come here, card. There's a labyrinth on it, so that means you know there is a bit of like an inner journey. You gotta trust yourself and you gotta follow, follow the path. Um, listen to your heart and try to distinguish, you know, which way to go. So I feel like what they what your crush wants to wants to say to you is that they see you more as a friend right now but they do see some potential but you both have things you need to work on yeah that's what i'm strongly getting and i feel like you guys can help each other too but keep it at the friends level Yeah, I see a lot of growth happening with this crush of yours, whoever it may be. And it's good growth, it's not, not bad growth. Alright, let's go into the letters, see if we pull out any words or initials or names. Alright, so we have W, M, P, A, J... And I, we have map. So yeah, kind of life is like a journey, you know. It's a map. Um, oh my gosh, you know, map. I'm um, having a map with a labyrinth. Maybe you know they want it to 
they want to try to figure this out with you, but at the friends level. Yeah. We also have Pam, Pam Pamela. We have Jam. You guys are both probably in a jam right now rom romantically. Um, one of you guys, I feel like there was a recent breakup for one of you guys. We have Pa. We have Jim. J-I-M. And I know the J is backwards. The J never wants to cooperate and neither does the I. We have Jim. <laughs> but yeah, you know, I hope that this resonated with at least one of you, if not some of you, maybe all of you. Um, as long as it does, that's that's all that matters. What I see may be different from what you see. As long as you get the message. Anyways, um, I do have an Instagram, Green Vitch Terror. You can follow me there. And I hope you guys have a beautiful, wonderful morning, night, day, whatever. <laughs> All right. Love y'all. Okay, bye.